Hi, this is TK Viper Tech, and today I'm going to give you a quick hands on review of the Mini, which came out in Japan today, November 2nd, one day ahead of uh, the US release because we are one day ahead. And uh, as you can see, this is the white 64 gigabyte Wi Fi only version. I love the design, it's thin and light. The back is uh, silver with the logo being like a mirror, very reflective. We have the 5 megapixel camera here. On the top we have the headphone jack, the mic, the sleep-wake button. On this side we have the lock for volume or rotation and the two volume buttons. They are separated now so much easier to feel them. On the bottom the biggest change is the new lightning uh, port here instead of the 30 pin port. And we've got two speakers instead of one. And on this side, nothing here, just an area for the smart cover to uh, attach to. So as you can see, this is different from the smart cover for the, the full-size iPad in that uh, everything is covered in this material here. So the magnet is not exposed, there's no metal, it's not going to scratch up your iPad. So let's open this up and look at the, the front, which is the most beautiful part, I think. The side bezels are very thin, so very easy access to the screen. Especially for um, music apps like a guitar app, you'd be able to play a guitar like that. On the top and bottom, we have uh, thicker borders with an HD camera here, 1.2 megapixel. And it takes a pretty nice video, 720p, uh, as opposed to the 1080p video capturing capability of this back camera. The nicest uh, design is this uh, chamfer here and uh, it goes all the way around the iPad mini and it's very shiny, very beautiful, feels like the iPhone 5. You know you can hold it with one hand but no one's gonna really hold it like this because it hurts your wrist if you hold it too long like this. The best way is just to hold it like this. Okay, you might uh, you know hold the screen too because this uh, bezel is kind of thin here, but that's fine. Okay, so uh, look at the screen here; it is pretty bright. Right now, it's set to I think nope maximum brightness right there. Uh, because I have this new uh, film here, it actually makes it darker. It's not Retina display. It's uh, the same as the iPad 2, except it's a smaller screen, so everything looks a bit sharper, but not Retina. And here we go, we can see the word Safari there. It's not too bad, and the corners around it, around that icon, uh, it's not too bad. But again, it's not uh, you know, the same level as the, the iPad 4 or the iPad 3 with the Retina display. Now, a lot of people have been calling this a giant iPod Touch but I say that is a very inaccurate assessment given the fact that this can run all the apps designed for the iPad which take advantage of the screen size and use the screen size more efficiently for example we have the notes app as you can see this is an app designed for the iPad not a stretched out iPhone app you see the list of notes here a notepad tap here get a full-size keyboard that goes from edge to edge uh, it's kinda hard to type with your thumb you can split the keyboard just like that and type or better yet in portrait mode your thumbs will reach all the keys and I find that to be the best way to type and you got the, your list of notes here so this is definitely an iPad app let's look at the browser app Safari app this is the iPad version we have tabs here in the mobile version you don't so if you buy an iPod touch you will not get this browser, you would get the mobile browser, which is not as good. So those claims are kind of childish. Uh, basically they're from haters, people who hate Apple. This is not a giant iPod Touch, it is an iPad Mini. And that's exactly what it is. Now let's talk about performance. The iPad Mini has an A5 chip, the same one found on the iPod Touch 5th generation the new one and also the iPad 2. The iPad 3 had a retina display therefore it needed a faster A5X chip to run it 
and since this doesn't have a retina display, the A5 chip is pretty sufficient. It's very smooth, you don't feel any lag, so not bad. And because it's an A5 chip, it uses less energy, and therefore we can have a thinner design and still have it last 10 hours. So let's uh, take a few pictures and see how fast we can snap these pictures. It's going to be much slower than the iPhone uh, 5 with the A6 chip, but it's not too bad. Okay, just like that, and we go. And that's not bad. As you can see, we've taken at least 15 pictures there. Alright, and next test, let's run a video game. Street Fighter vs Tekken. So startup will take a few seconds, but not too long. But it's pretty fast. And there we have it, it's loaded. So much faster than the previous iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S. And so we start here. And I think this is the perfect form factor for video games. iPad uh, phone size is too big. It's kind of clumsy, you drop it from time to time. And iPhone 5, it's too small, you can't see much detail. But this is just perfect, I mean the buttons here, it's perfect size. Definitely, this is a better device for interacting with uh, the device itself. The, the full size iPad is definitely better for viewing stuff, but not really interacting with it. I mean, you can do a lot of work on it too, because you have more uh, screen real estate. But in terms of uh, you know, the form factor and ease of use, this is definitely much better. You can see no lags. And there we have it. Very fast. No lags. It really performs very well considering it's using a chip that's uh, found on the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S. And the A5 chip will support Siri. So just hold it down for half a second here. How's the weather in Tokyo tomorrow? It should be nice in Tokyo, Japan tomorrow. Up to 17 degrees and partly sunny. Not bad. So, as you can see, it's not really a slow machine. It's not the fastest. It's not going to be as fast as the iPad 4 with the A6 chip or the A6X chip, but it is much faster than the iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S, I think. So overall, I'm very happy with this. I love the design, very thin, very beautiful, very light. And also this uh, thin bezel here, love it. It is really a perfect size. I think uh, 7 inch would be a little too small. Uh, for viewing content and the bigger one would be too big to hold with one hand I think they really found a pretty good size and there we have it this is the hands-on review of the new iPad mini